Hey everybody, Seth Davis here for SI.com. I'm giving you all of my breakdowns of the major conferences heading into the 2013-14 college basketball season. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at the SEC. The plot lines in the SEC are gonna look very familiar. It's basically Kentucky and Florida and everybody else. Missouri's gonna be competitive. LSU and Tennessee are certainly going to be better, but Kentucky and Florida are still the class of the SEC, and one way or another, I expect them to finish in the top two come season's end. My pick for the best team in the SEC is, of course, the Kentucky Wildcats. What a terrific freshman class John Calipari has brought into Lexington, headlined by six foot nine power forward Julius Randle, who for my money is the best freshman in America. I know that folks in the Big Blue Nation are thinking about 2012 with Anthony Davis, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and Marcus Teague, but keep in mind that team did have some older players, especially somebody like Darius Miller, who as a senior was able to come off the bench and provide some veteran leadership. This team does not have that. I think it's only a matter of time, and it could happen on day one, where Calipari goes primarily with an all-freshman starting lineup. We all know that it's possible to get to a Final Four using primarily freshmen. The Fab Five did it back in 1991, so it's going to be fascinating to watch John Calipari mold these young players into a team as the season goes on. They are clearly the class of the SEC. My player to watch in the SEC is Jordan McRae, the six foot six senior guard at Tennessee. McRae was actually my choice for SEC Player of the Year last season. I love the way he came on beginning in January when Conzo Martin inserted him into the starting lineup. Jordan McRae is a devastating outside scorer. He's long, he's wiry, makes about 36% from three-point range. He is going to be the linchpin of a vastly improved Tennessee Volunteers team that I think is ready to play its way into the first tier of this conference. My dark horse team in the SEC is LSU. Johnny Jones, the head coach there now in his second year at his alma mater, he has this team ready to make a big time move. They return six of their top seven scores from last season. They have Johnny O'Brien back as a 6.94. He's a first team all conference type of player and he'll be playing in the front court alongside a very talented freshman in Jarrell Martin. LSU finished eighth in the league last year. Believe me, they're gonna finish a lot higher this season. This team is ready to do some damage. So that's my look at the SEC. It's a new season, but a familiar old narrative. Who can beat Kentucky in the league? It's gonna be a lot of fun watching everybody try. I'm Seth Davis for SI.com. Keep it right here all season long for all of your college basketball coverage.